Hi, welcome back. As I've mentioned, obviously, I came from New York. I was out in California for a number of years, and I came to Kentucky. Then I went back to New York for a year. Then I came back to Kentucky to heal up, and now I'm going to possibly Lexington, Kentucky, if only for a little while. The Lexington, Kentucky thing is my daughter's getting out of New York. Um, uh, Long Island is getting ridiculous for multiple reasons. Uh, too expensive, too scary, people don't know how to drive. Um, people are, are just, it's not, it's not a good place anymore. And they're kind of throwing out, um, they're really squishing the middle class there. Which I find humorous, but anyway. <laughs> that's a long story, we won't go into my politics right now. But, uh, she was going to come out here because it's, um, uh, a kinder way of life, a little gentler, uh, a little more um, civilized in some respects. And uh, we were looking at Lexington, Kentucky, because uh, at the time when this decision was first made, which was over a year ago, my grandchild wanted to go to college there. And it seemed to be very, um, one of those places that was a positive place f for being trans. So was Louisville, they were going between the two, but she wanted the college. Some old likes came back into the discussion. The differences of the degree have changed. And so now instead of going to uh, perhaps engineering, it's more looking like theater. And that changed everything, <laughs> theater. Wanting a degree in theater and doing that is an entirely different thing. So my grandchild has looked and looked and looked and decided that Germany is a much cooler place to be all around. School, the, the price of the schooling, the way they treat um, LGBT people, etc., um, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, et cetera. And in fact, looking at it not just to go to school, but as a place to actually live, most likely for a long time. Now, I had made a promise to my daughter some years ago that um, eventually, for multiple reasons, she wanted me to move in with her. She wanted the family to get back together again because I'd been separated for so long from her, living in different states. And, uh, you know, not that I'm there yet, but as I get much older, we're talking 70s, 80s, she thought it would be wiser that we're all together in one place. Um, obviously, now my youngest is not involved in this. He has his own family, his own kids. Um, he's doing his thing in New York. He's not going to move from New York because his wife's family is in Manhattan and it's just not going to happen. But like I said, I made this promise to her, oh, a number of years ago, um, after much talk. So, you know, I was going to go with her to um, Lexington. And, you know, we get different business ventures going and so forth and so on. And I, I was looking forward to it because, you know, I'm kind of done with, with Madisonville where I'm in now. And, um, you know, but n now with the conversation of Germany getting in there, I started to seriously look at, I mean, there was no obligation for me to go, but I was like, so why are we looking at Germany? So we've been talking and talking these last, oh, about a week or so now. And uh, I'm doing my own research and so forth and so on. And so I started learning German two days ago. Um, and I'm excited because I've never been outside the country before. And travel is one of the things I want to do. And uh, it just sounds so interesting and exciting. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, it, it. We're talking a few years down the road. We got to save and whatever. And uh, and I, I want to be, and she wants to be fluent in German before she gets there. And uh, of course, my, and my grandchild, again, is really studying hard because, again, for the schooling, she has to be able to speak German very well. Um, has to be fluent in it. So that's what's going on. 
and I'm so excited <laughs> because I, I, I do enjoy traveling and I do enjoy going to new places and trying different things and there's such a potential of what I could do there um, particularly if I decide to become a citizen I have all these options of places I could live in once I become an EU citizen I could live in all these countries that I've always wanted to live in and I could just like beep 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 a couple months here, a couple months there I could, I don't need, you know my, uh having their citizenry is just as good, actually better than having a US citizenry I'm not afraid of change, I stopped being afraid of change a long time ago and so change to me is exciting I just wanted to um, bring that up and um, I'm not going to go in, I mean unless you want me to want more information of why I'm choosing this place uh, I can give you some specs and things um, I like the idea as I get older of universal health care I mean I got I got a plan for uh, my mother lived to 80 and she was sick as could be my dad was an alcoholic his entire life and he lived to 77 you know uh, genetically I'm kind of doomed to be, live to an old age and I take care of myself I stopped smoking 15 years ago I you know hardly drink I I eat healthy much healthier, not not perfectly where I want to be, but I'm healthier. I'm going to be here for a while. And so I have to plan. I have to take those things into consideration. I have to plan that, you know, you know, it, it's not looking like what we have for quote unquote health care in this country is a nightmare. And I, I don't want to I don't want to watch my entire savings disappear if I get sick. I want to go to a place that has good wages. I want to go to a place that has universal health care. Um, a place that... Th there's a lot of societal things that I find imp appealing about the German society. You know, but those other two are the big ones. Are the big ones and then I can do all the traveling that I want to do. I don't know what else I wanted to bring up about that. Um, if you have any questions, uh, put them down in the thingy below. Comment, like, and subscribe. Um, I'll give you updates as things go on. I'll give you updates when I do the move to Lexington. Uh, I'm looking forward. It's supposed to be a very beautiful city. And I'm going to be taking, probably by that time, I want to be doing maybe some vlogs and things. We'll see where things go. See you soon. Bye.